A West Jordan woman can see again for the first time in 40 years. She's the first person in Utah with the new FDA-approved bionic eye. In tonight's Insight Report, news specialist Heather Simonson shows us how it works. A talking scale. And a computer helps Sandy England, who is blind, make spaghetti pie. Yes, one of my favorites. <laughs> Four decades ago, retinitis pigmentosa stole her vision. It's a genetic disorder that affects the retina's ability to respond to light. I could see a menu and then slowly I couldn't see that menu anymore. And I couldn't see color. Uh, the color just faded away. A single mom, she opened a bakery in her garage to make ends meet. It was very tough, yeah. To raise two girls by myself. Yeah, it was tough. <laughs> her world has been dark for 40 years, until now. Doctors in Minnesota recently turned on her bionic eye for the first time. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. Oh, wow. It was like over 10,000 light bulbs going off in my eyes. Ooh. At home in West Jordan, she's learning to see in a new way. You have something light. Uh -huh. She sees shapes through electrical stimulation of the retina. I can see you move just then. And um, I can see John standing right there. Here's how it works. A camera on her glasses captures an image which goes to a battery-operated computer at her waist, then to a device on the outer eye wall connected to a microchip on her retina that sends the information to her optic nerve. Though she met her husband John back in 2002, she'd never seen him until recently. I could see his neck, his chin, his uh, cheeks, and his forehead. It is really wonderful to be able to, to see John again and my daughters. It will give her an added dimension to what she's already been able to do. And uh, it's another tool that she can use. Not many blind people get to see their guide dogs. Yeah. It's a good girl. But Sandy now sees Jet's silhouette and other ordinary miracles of life. I can see the full moon for the first time in years. And the fireworks. I don't remember the last time I saw those. It was pretty exciting. As doctors work to improve the bionic eye, Sandy and John enjoy new dreams and a new life. Heather Simonson, KSL 5 News. Wow. Heather, thank you. Researchers in England are also finding success testing the bionic eye in people with severe macular degeneration. Tourists 